of the circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Hey, what's going on here? Ah, there's enough load on this room and wagon now. And... Yeah, it says you. Listen, Buck and I have been loading wagons since before you was born. But I'm trying to tell you, I ain't got my lead horses tonight. And... Uh, lead horses or not. Sixteen horsepower can't pull this load, I'll eat. No, mine. hold on there, Gabby. You may be wrong and have to eat whatever it is, so be careful what you say. Now, listen, Spike. You know I'm willing to carry any kind of a load. But Chick's using the leads tonight. And if I had to hitch up the wheel team instead. Well, ever used them like that before? Sure, once last season. But they're not so sure. Not having any wheel team, I gotta go easy on the load. Yeah. You can sure think of more excuses for getting out of work than any guy I ever see. Are you... Oh, you... hey, now, hey. Gabby Buck, cut that out. Now, oh, listen, we've been working so hard, we're all goofy. Now, oh, come on, cut out the I fighting. Know it. Hey, I got an idea. Oh, hello, Jerry. I forgot you were around. Buck, uh, why don't you let me ride the uh, lead team? What? Well, you said they weren't used to leading. Sure, it's the truth. Well, then why not let me ride them? I'll get them safe on the street. You can handle the team you put on the wheels, and we'll be down to the runs before you know it. Okay, kid, you're on. Uh, will it really help much, Buck? Sure thing it will. Jerry can see where he's heading riding up in front like that. Guide him careful out of the ruts. Say, if you want to... You may as well load the rest of the canvas. With Jerry riding up in front, we can handle anything. Yeah, you see, it's lucky I stirred things up or we'd had to wait and load in a wagon. Come on, Spike. Here, give me a hand, will you? Yeah, okay. Here you go. Uh, Say, thanks, Buck. That's one thing I've been wanting to do all season. Ride some of the lead horses off the lot. But the drivers have all been so busy and... Well, well when I have the regular leads on, they're better than even a good driver. Sure, I know. They can see better than we can, I guess. I don't know about that. But after years of pulling these heavy wagons off the lot, they seem to have an instinct for the bad spots. Hey there, come on, wake up, Buck. We're ready. Yeah, wait till I get this wagon boarded up. Okay, all set, Buck. Yeah, I guess we'd sure appreciate a lift tonight. Oh, boy, I'm done, and I don't mind saying it. Oh, me too. Hurry up, Jerry. Better ride Gypsy. She's on the left there. Eh? Okay, Buck. Be there in a jiffy. You two guys ready yet? Oh, well, I'll say... Hey, drive easy, will you? Don't want to spoil my beauty sleep. Beauty sleep me I. With a mug like that? Say, you'd have to sleep a hundred years. <laughs> like Rip Van Winkle, yeah. right? <laughs> uh, go on, Buck. Get this pet of yours going, will you? Hey, uh, Buck. We're all set. Okay, kid. Up there. Get going. Come on. Well, there she blows. Well, Spike, suppose we settle down for a nice little snooze. It's okay by me. Oh, what a life. I'll say. Don't mind admitting I'm kind of done in. Gosh, I could go for a big steak right now. Uh, two in the morning? Yeah, what's time got to do with being hungry? <laughs> uh, well, when we get to the runs, we'll get some grub. There's a restaurant I spotted near there. Yeah, I saw it too. Uh, you don't miss much. Say, uh, you've been with this outfit a long time, haven't you, Gabby? Yeah, I'll say. Started when I was a punk like Jerry. Run away from home? How'd you know? <laughs> Thought you'd be a lion tamer, huh? Say, what is this? 
I was telling my story. <laughs> okay, you tell me then. I didn't mean to steal your stuff. Well, seeing as you're so smart, I gave up being a lion tamer because I wasn't much bigger than Jerry. Yeah? How come? Oh, I was helping clean out the cages and... Gosh, I was just nuts about the trainer. I thought he was tough. Well, they usually are. That job takes a good man. Yeah, well, you see, that day someone made a mistake and left the door loose between two of the wagons. One of the cats wanted in the cage. I was cleaning just as friendly as you please. Well, and... how'd you feel? Oh, boy, my heart still stops every time I think of it. I don't mind telling you, my hair stood right up on end. Every hair of my head. Hey, boy, I could feel them all separate. What? <laughs> you scared of a nice, friendly lion? Friendly? Say that feline took one look at me and she let out a roar you could have heard for a mile. Well, uh... Maybe she didn't like your hair standing up on end. You should have combed it. Yeah, let me tell you, it wasn't so funny. Mm, doesn't look like she hurt you none. Well, it just happened it was feeding time, and she must have... Took one look at you and thought of raw meat, huh? Uh, yeah, you said it. But lucky for me, the guy what fed him was just wheeling a dinner around. He heard the roar, and he ran up to the cage, threw in a big slab of meat, and one of the guards grabbed me before I had time to even think. Yeah? Takes you quite a while to think. I've noticed that. Hey, now, listen, don't be so smart. Anyhow, that cat took a hunk of meat to throw in instead of me, and so here I am. Wise animal. She probably got the tenderest piece of that. Yeah, is that so? Well, listen, I'm not so tough. I, I mean, me not. <laughs> yes, yes. Boy, you sure bite easy, Gabby. Hey, you guys. Notice what a nice job Jerry's done getting us up on the street? Well, how can anybody ever know what's going on with a Gabby guy like this around? Gabby? Say, I can hardly tell my own story and interrupt so much. Hey, how am I doing? Square, Jerry. Want to come back now? No, I like it here. Hey, hey, hold him steady there, Jerry. Till that ambulance gets by. Ah, uh, don't you worry. I can handle him fine. Yeah, uh, you bet he can, too. That kid's a natural with horses. Yeah? Say, you should have seen me with horses at that age. Yeah? I'll bet you even made the horses laugh in those days. Uh. Hey, that was Jason. But, Spike, Jason was in that ambulance. You sure, Jerry? Sure, I'm sure. Hey, see? They stopped over there by the run. Yeah, that's right. The ambulance was stopped over by the sleeping cars. He said he was going to leave town with us, but I didn't think the doctor would let him. Well, uh, you can't hold a good man down. Hey, Buck, Buck, what you want? Uh, mind stopping the team a, a second? Sure thing. Something wrong? Hey there. Ho! Ho there. Uh, uh, take it easy there. And a boy. Say Thanks, Buck. Listen, I want to run over to the sleeping cars and see Jason a minute before he gets to sleep. Sure thing. Hey, Jerry, uh, Gabby and me are heading for that eating place down by the tracks there. You want to come back and join us? Nah, you bet I do. Don't think I'd turn down a chance to eat, do you? No, no, not you. Say hello to Jason for us, will you? You bet. And thanks, Buck, for the ride. Uh, don't thank me. Golly, I'd have been in a swell spot. If I hadn't had a good driver on that wheel team. It's quite a trick to put horses on that lead job when they ain't used to it. Thanks for the help, Jerry. Oh, that wasn't anything. It was fun. Oh, I wish that waiter'd step on it. I'm starved. Hmm, funny Jerry's not here yet. Ah, eh, don't worry about him. He'll be along. Hey, Spike. Yeah? Who's that guy alone in that booth over there? Oh, that uh, big, good-looking one? He's one of the Rusoffs. Oh, sure. One of them Cossacks. He's still been watching us ever since we came up to the counter. Well, maybe he's thinking of putting you in his act. Say, and I'd be good, too. Oh. Well, here comes the groceries. Here you are, Jake. Mm. Mm, smells good. Uh, pitch in, Gabby. Uh, don't worry. Say, uh... You don't think maybe that Russian might really be thinking of using me uh, in his act? You never can tell. Maybe you're cut out to be an actor after all. Maybe. Say, you don't know from peanuts. My folks always said I was born to be... Hung. Uh, no, sir, to go on the stage. Uh, yeah? Uh, Say, with your gift of gab, you should be a salesman. Salesman? Say, I, I never told her that. I bet I'd be good at that, too. I bet I could sell electric fans in Alaska if I had to. Oh, listen, Gabby... I thought you said you were hungry. Now, pitch in and stop talking. Your coffee will get cold. Uh -huh. Hey, Spike. Spike. Oh, what's your hurry, Jerry? Uh, Murray wants you right away. Said it was important. You can't it wait till morning? No, but I told him you were eating, but he said to get right over to the runs. Oh, ain't that the limit? I'll see. I gotta go back, too. Mmm, gee, that food sure smells good. Yeah, and it tastes good, too. Never mind, fellas. I'll eat enough for all of you. Well, I'll bet you will. 
Come on, Jerry. We better get going. Yeah, he was sure in a hurry. So long, Gabby. Yeah. Hey, waiter. Yes? Another cup of java. Coming up. Uh, hello. Uh, you are with the circus, yes? Yeah, sure. One of the canvas men, Governor. Name's Gabby. No, I knew I'd seen you on the lot. Uh, mind if I finish my coffee here at the counter with you? Uh, sure thing. Yeah, have a stool. I was alone over there, and, well, I heard you two talking, so I thought uh, I... Uh... I guess the worst you'd know a mouse kind of loud. No, not at all. I was interested in you, especially. Oh, uh, me? <laughs> Say, you wouldn't kid a fellow now, would you, Governor? You struck me as an ambitious sort of man. Yeah, that's me, all right. Always wanting to get ahead. You men work uh, mighty hard, don't you? Yeah, I'll say. And I'm telling you, I've never shook a day's work in my life, I haven't. I can believe that. <laughs> but for so little. What do you mean? You are paid so little, and you work so hard. Now, the performance, uh, they get decent wages, and they only work a short time in the ring. Yeah. I often thought I wouldn't mind being a performer myself one of these days. After all, you laboring men are the backbone of the circus. You don't think the show could open tomorrow if it weren't for you men, do you? Yeah, boy, I'll say it couldn't. I should think you deserve a little extra for all that. Say, I see a point, Governor. Guess we should have more dough. Oh, not my point. I wouldn't start anything for the world. But I can't help noticing things. You see, someday soon, I'm going to have a circus of my own. And I intend to see that my men are taken care of. I admire men who know what they are worth and who demand that they get it. Say, that's an idea. The up-and-coming man of today is the leader of tomorrow. Yeah, that, that's me, all right. And I admire a man who knows what he's worth and demands his rights. Oh, sure, that's me. Why should an employer pay more if the men don't ask for it? You can't blame the boss. Indeed not. If the men are underpaid, it's their own fault. Now, that's what I always say. Say... I never thought of that. Though I wouldn't want you to repeat this as coming from me. So, I understand, Governor. You've got to stand up for your rights nowadays to be respected. And once the working men learn to stick together... Say, that's an idea. Hey, I'm a pretty nifty talker myself. Then it's your duty to talk to the men and get them to demand their rights. But it takes a leader. Yeah, I'm that all right. Yes, sir. This is a free country. But things are only ours when we take a stand and ask for them. Say... I'm sure glad I talked to you. Of course, I wouldn't want our little conversation to, well, uh, to be repeated. Sure, I understand. You can depend on me, Governor. Uh, have another cup of coffee? Yeah, don't mind if I do. Thanks, Governor. You know, it's great talking to a man like you. And I like talking to a man with courage and vision. Mm -hmm.